to show you how to prepare... A dinosaur with cauliflower! No, Telmo. All right. A dinosaur salad! <laughs> no, we're going to make some delicious crepes. That's perfect. I love crepes. Me too. I'll make mine with chocolate and pepper. Mine with strawberries and cream. That's great. Let's look at the ingredients we're going to need. That's it. Pencil and paper, Telmo. Oh, yes. Paper and pencil. Ready. Telmo, I don't think you'll be able to write anything with that. Oh, <laughs> it needs toothpaste. <laughs> Telmo. <laughs> All right. All righty. Ready. Good. The ingredients that we need to make the crepes are... Flour! Eggs! Milk! Melted butter! Sugar! Salt! Chocolate and hazelnut cream! Strawberries! Wonderful pepper! And whipped cream! Let's get to it. I haven't washed my hands. Oh, me neither. Whew. All done. To start, the first thing we need to do is mix half a cup of flour with one egg and the yolk of another. All right, I'll separate the yolk from the white. And I'm going to grab a bowl to put the flour in. You need to be careful when separating the yolk from the white so that the yolk won't break. We take the egg, we give it a light tap on the edge of the cup, and we open it just on the top. Then slowly we pass the egg from one side to the shelf to the other, allowing the white to fall into the cup while keeping the yolk in the shell. After the egg, we add a cup of milk. And there goes the yolk. And now we beat it all together. Well, Telmo, you've forgotten quite a few things. Uh, the pepper? No, the melted butter, the sugar, and the salt. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You keep mixing that up while I add the rest of the ingredients we need to make our delicious crepes. All right. We add four tablespoons of melted butter and one tablespoon of sugar. And lastly, a pinch of salt. Now it's really ready. Yes. Uh, uh, now what? Well, we have to ask our grown-up to make the crepes in a pan. Grown-up! Can you come and make the crepes for us, please? Let's add some butter to the pan so that the crepes won't stick to it. That's it. Well now, with the spoon, our grown-up is going to spread some of the crepe mix around the pan. Remember though, that it has to be a thin layer because we're not making an omelet or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Look how our grown-up does it. And moving the pan helps to spread a thin layer of crepe mix over the pan. How good. Telmo, we have to grab a plate to put the crepes on. Yes. There goes one, Telmo. Mine! <laughs> there goes another one. Oh! Another one. Wow! How about you take a turn for a while? Another one. Oh, man. I'm the super creep picker-upper. <laughs> Thank you. How good. Now let's fill them with delicious things. One moment. Before we go on, let's review the ingredients. 
<laughs> that we used. That way we can review them. I can catch my breath. <laughs> okay. Ingredients to make crepes. Three and a half ounces of flour, one egg, one egg yolk, one cup of milk, a quarter cup of melted butter, one tablespoon of sugar, a pinch of salt, butter for the pan, and for the filling, chocolate and hazelnut cream, a pinch of pepper, whipped cream, and strawberries. Huh, I'm all better. <laughs> Good, now we're going to fill the crepes. You can fill them with whatever you like. Yes, like chocolate, pieces of fruit, cream, a bunch of different things. Yes, whatever you like most. Besides, you can also make crepes with salad, vegetables, and beef. I am going to fill them with chocolate and hazelnut cream and pepper. And mine with strawberries and cream. For the one with hazelnut cream, it's so simple. <laughs> With a spoon, I scoop a lot of chocolate and hazelnut cream and spear my crepes. And on mine, I put strawberries that have been washed and cut, like this. And now the pepper! It's perfect like this! And the whipped cream. Now we have to roll up the crepe. I've already done mine, look! Telmo, dear cook, a word of advice. If you want your crepes to come out well, don't fill them with too much filling. It came out perfect, ready to eat. 